Hey, BC. Yeah, a little bit of the Smiths. And uh, How Soon Is Now? That's off their second LP, U.S. pressing. This is the Smiths' first LP. It was released in 1984. It's just titled The Smiths. Now, Trevor sent me these uh, Rhino reissues, and he wanted me to compare them because I have all the original pressings, except for I, did, I don't have this the first record. And I found out today that I don't have Hat Full of Hollow, which was also released in 84, and it had a lot of B-sides and singles and stuff that they released right after they released their first LP. And uh, one of the songs was uh, How Soon Is Now? And that was issued on the U.S. version of uh, Meet Is Murder. And the funny thing is, if you look at anything on here, all the, the, t the listings of the songs, you won't find How Soon Is Now. It's not listed on anything. Of the, but it is on the record label, the Sire. But this is all you know, printed from, I guess, the, the UK stuff. So, but the Sire label, which is the US label, it has that song on it. So, these records were reissued, the long-awaited vinyl reissue of the original UK version. So now the UK version doesn't have How Soon Is Now on it, like the US pressing does. So if you want to get the re remastered versions with uh, How Soon Is Now on it, you have to get Hat Full of Hollow, which I guess I'm going to have to get. Because now in comparing these records, if you take the, uh, the Rhino reissue, and I really comment, uh, commend Trevor for leaving the shrink on it, but that sticker on there, I really like that. That's the way I like to do it too. Now, the, uh, you know, the covers on these, and this one is a, uh, this is a Canadian pressing here that I have, the original one. I like, if you see the difference uh, even on the, the kind of the color, I like this one better. And I like the, uh, the texture of the cover. This is just that, you know, that 80s kind of cheap, shiny cover, you know. This is about the same thickness as that cover, but I just like the, uh, the finish on it better. And when you compare the inner sleeves, the inner sleeve on the reissue is a lot nicer. It's a lot thicker than on the, uh, let's get it out here. This is the original Canadian 1985 Sire Records. And, uh, Thinner, a little bit thicker, like that. It's not nicely done. That's the bottom line. Nicely done. Now, like I said before, the original. This is your original label. Now this would be your UK label. This is the way it came out in the UK. In the states. And in Canada, it was on the Sire Records label. Okay. Now this is 86. The Queen is dead. And uh, it's her third LP. And it's a gatefold. And uh, this again, Sire, pull this one out, see the Sire label, Rough Trade, it was a label that started in the UK, and uh, 
I was reading that they started their label in the UK and they made a deal with their with the people that they signed it. They would split it 50-50 for the revenue with them. So that was pretty good. And then you have the Queen is Dead, the Rhino reissue, which is also a gatefold. And again, it's the, like it even says on the back of the, uh, says on here 1986 Warner Music UK Limited manufactured and marketed by Rhino and these are made in USA of course but it's and even the cover look at the cover how different they look the UK version versus the US Canadian version And then, strange ways, here we come. That's 87 now. And this is, now this one is, uh, you know, by 87, it was harder and harder to get records. And so, uh, this one was made in the United States. But I got it through the... Uh, the record club, and they weren't pressing any more records in Canada then, so they sent me this U.S. press in 87. And again, really, really thin inner sleeve on the Syrah label, uh, you know, kind of the real thin LP cover, really thin. And then you come to the uh, the Rhino reissue now, and the Rhino is thicker. It's got a thicker cover because this this is, they're getting pretty thin at this point. It's a little thicker. And uh, again, it says on here UK limited. It's got the UK label again, and the nice nice thick inner sleeve. So now, after all of that is said and done. How do the records compare? Well, um, you know, I listen to the, the versions that I have, and then I listen to the Rhino reissue. And the Rhino reissue is much, much better. These early 85, 86, 7 pressings, digital was brand new back then. And they were using digital to make these records. And uh, you can really tell it's it's very bright. The the uh, the domestic pressings are very bright. And the rhinos now, the rhino reissues, the rhino reissues, they sound. It sounds to me basically just like if you take take a domestic pressing, and what Quality Records is able to do with it. They take away all that brightness. You get actually more detail and a lot more bass on this. And uh, it's just all around a lot better record. Now these original, originally these Smiths records, I just was never able to really listen to them a lot. They're really, all of them, the old, old original pressings that I have, they haven't ever, they're, they're pretty well pristine. I haven't played them a lot. And now I know why. When I was doing the testing, I'd listen to the original. I'd listen to, you know, just a little part of the first track, part of the track, and then I'd put the Rhino reissue on, and I'd listen to the song all the way through. I didn't even want to get up and take it off. I, it was just so much more relaxing. You didn't have that fatigue. You didn't have that irritation where, you know, now the originals, they sound really good. You put them on, they sound nice. But it's like what I, what I always say, what do you compare it to? Now you compare it to something like this, which is a lot better. Because, you know, these, these records now, they're made 25 years after the fact. Digital has gotten a lot better since the early days. And these records here now, they sound a lot better. 
Now you can still tell that they have that digital sound to them. There's, uh, there's not much space around the instruments. There's not a lot of air. This, this sound stage isn't wide, it's not open. But uh, they are so much better than the originals. Uh, and so I guess that's the bottom line. So I guess I'm gonna have to get a uh, hat full of hollow because I really like, uh, I really like you know, the this, this song, How Soon Is Now. And that's kind of like my favorite uh, Smith's Elk record, you know, song, which is probably a lot of other folks too. They kind of dubbed it, you know, the Stairway to Heaven of the 80s kind of thing. So it's a pretty popular song. It's the one I like. And if I'm going to listen to it, I want to listen to it on that Rhino vinyl. And it's only available in Hat Full of Hollow. So I guess I'll have to be looking for a copy of that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed my review. Thanks very much for watching. And bye for now.